I want to begin by thanking all of you for coming, um, and particularly the 14 survivors of the St. Louis that are here with us today, to mark a pretty historic moment. This today is the intersection between history of the Holocaust and United States history. And very rarely do people think of those two things in the same sentence. And we're here to correct that record today. I want to begin just by telling you a little bit, and some of you who know this already, forgive me. But I grew up at a dinner table where my father, a Holocaust survivor, became an American, escaped, the only member of his family that escaped, and a mom who was feminist before the term existed, and there would be dinner table fights all the time. But the one that my sister and I remember so poignantly is when my mother, who adored FDR, and particularly his wife, Eleanor, would say how wonderful a man he was and what wonderful things he did for the United States. So I grew up with that narrative, and thankfully, it's true. And then my father would say, Harriet, he sent ships back. Don't you know about the St. Louis? She'd say, it's not real. You know how people are. They're making up stuff all the time. So even at a survivor of the Holocaust table, this debate over what really happened occurred. So it's really important that in facing this incredibly dark chapter of world history and specifically US history, we take care of some unfinished business today.